Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. Under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity, Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee and Honorary Chairman of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the night race for 120 kilometers cup for the public and the international and local qualifying 40 kilometer and 80 kilometer race started today. His Highness Sheikh Nasser and His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, captain of the Khaldiya stables, attended the race with the participation of horsemen from the royal team and local stables. Horsemen from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Jordan, Kuwait, the United States of America and France also participated in the race. His Highness Sheikh Nasser hailed the organization of the race, affirming the fierce competition the race witnessed and the readiness of the riders, as well as their keenness on winning first places. He expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for his support to the endurance sport, stating that it contributes to the development of the sport in the kingdom. In the presence of the chairman of the Russian Equestrian and Horse Racing Club's High Committee, Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, and his deputy chairman, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Russian Equestrian and Horse Racing Club today was held for this 22nd race of the season in Rafasghir. It was held for the Cups of Viva and Bahrain Derby. Members of the ruling family, representatives of sponsors, and horse racing fans also attended the race. At the end of the race, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa presented the Bahrain Derby Cup to Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa and Viva Cups to the winners.
A group of association and clubs of expat communities residing in the Kingdom of Bahrain organized the Bahrain for All and All for Bahrain Festival in its sixth edition at the Prince Khalifa bin Salman Park in Hid, where a great crowd of citizens and residents enjoyed the artistic and heritage activities. Bahraini and foreign bands also took part in the activity in an atmosphere of happiness and joy that embodied the Kingdom of Bahrain's coexistence of all components of society. Organizers expressed their sincere thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa for his patronage and attention being given to such distinguished annual festival in which the nature of the Bahrain society based on tolerance is reflected. They stressed that His Royal Highness is always keen to back every activity that is aimed at strengthening cohesion of the Bahraini society and as a key factor in supporting the comprehensive development efforts witnessed in the kingdom on all fields. This year's festival programs included paintings, exhibitions of pictures, and music performances, as well as children activities. Some embassies, clubs, and societies also showcased their countries, cultures, and traditions. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs welcomed the military operations conducted by the United States of America against the sites from which attacks using chemical weapons were launched on Khan Sheikhoun in Syria. In a statement, the Foreign Ministry said that such a step was needed to stop the bloodshed and prevent the proliferation or use of any banned weapons against innocent civilians. It stressed that this clear stance of the United States came in support of efforts to end the Syrian crisis and called on all sides to remain committed to maintaining the interests of the Syrian people and work seriously and transparently to put an end to their suffering. The Foreign Ministry affirmed the need for the concerted effort of all parties to maintain a ceasefire and arrange for negotiations that lead to a comprehensive political settlement on the basis of the Geneva One Conference of 2012 and the relevant UN Security Council resolutions in a way that preserves the sovereignty and territorial integrity of Syria